Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove transparent glass background in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper into using pen for creating a selection, desaturating of layers, inverting of layers, selecting highlights, and applying curves. So let's get started! So here in our document, I prepare here an example of a glass where we are going to remove the background onto this transparent glass. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a selection around this glass with the use of a pen tool. So going on to the toolbar, so like on the pen tool, it shows this symbol, right? Or just press P for the shortcut key. And then for the options on top, make sure that you're selecting on path. Now let's create a selection. Let's zoom this one in. Right, let's press P, let's start from here. All right, there you have it. Now I'm done creating this path. Now we're going to right click on it and then choose make selection. Okay, for this dialog box, for the feather radius, set this one to one pixels and now hit OK. All right, now it just created this kind of selection. See, all right, that's a little bit detailed. Okay, now the next step here is we're going to create a layer of this own glass. So to do that, all I have to do is to press Ctrl plus J, all right? And not only once, but we're going to create another one. Press Ctrl plus J. Now we already created two duplicate layer. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Well, going back, now the next step here is we're going to hide the background layer for us to focus on this glass. Okay, now. From the top layer, from this one, from the now we're going to desaturate this image. So to do that, with that layer selected, going to the menu bar, go to image, under image, go to adjustments, and then find desaturate. By the way, you can also do the shortcut key by just pressing shift, control, plus U. And now click on it. All right, there you go. And then still selected on that layer, we're going to invert this one. So again, let's go to the image once again and go to adjustments and find invert. And by the way, for the shortcut key of invert, you can just press control plus I. All right, there go it. Now it turns to this. Now, the next step here is we're going to create a selection on the highlights of this glass. So to do that, we're gonna make use of a shortcut key, press control plus shift plus alt plus five. So I repeat, press control plus shift plus alt plus five. All right, now we already have this selection. And then we're going to invert this one. Just what I've taught you a while ago, the shortcut key of invert is press control plus I. All right, now it turns to this. So once we already invert the selection, we're going to create a new layer for that. So we're going to duplicate this one by pressing control plus J as our shortcut key. Okay, there you have it. Now I'm going to hide these two layers for us to see what happens. So this is it. Okay, now let's bring back this layer. And this layer here, I'm going to hide this one, or you can just throw it in the trash. So just click and drag it over here. Okay, now we already have this kind of effect. Now, we're going to add a mask from this two layer. So from this layer, this layer two, I'm going to add a mask. From this layer one, also add a mask. All right, so let's focus first on this layer one. Okay, because our goal here is to remove those colors from this glass. Okay, so to do that, going on to the toolbar, find the brush tool. Okay, so for the options on top, choose a soft round brush. For the opacity, I'm going to adjust this one into the amount of 40%. All right, and for the foreground color, make sure that it's color black. Okay, and now once all set, we can now start removing those colors on this glass. Now, once we already removed most color of this glass, now let's go to the other layer here on top, this layer two. So also click on that mask and then still select on the brush tool. Okay, but this time for the opacity, I'm going to lower the amount of 20%. Okay, all right. Now I, our goal here now is to remove those color black thing on, on this glass. Okay. All right, if there are parts that they are black that still remains on it, let's go back to the layer one and let's remove this area. So I'm kind of satisfied with this. 
Now the next step here is we're going to put these two layers into group. So to do that, I'm going to press this layer two and then press control, hold it, and also select on this layer one. Now we already selected these two layers. Now let's put them in a group by pressing control plus G. All right, there you have it. Okay, and another thing here, selected on this group, let's go to the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. All right, there you have it. Okay, and now for this histogram, I'm going to straighten a point on this, also on this area, right? And I'm going to bring this shadows to darken it. Okay, something like this. I'm going to bring this one down and this one, I'm going to bring this one up to lighten up those highlights. Okay, there you are. All right. Okay, I can also create another point on this part and let's all right I'm kind of happy with this as if you have noticed here that there are blue things that just pop up here okay so to fix that let's go again to the group okay selected on this layer one mask okay let's remove those color blues all right so we lessen that out okay so another thing here from this curves layer right click on it and then choose create clipping mask okay now next up we're gonna bring back the background layer and then i'm going to press group layer and press v and then i'm going to click and drag and look at that we just created a clone of this glass now we can extract this glass to another background so i prepare here another image okay so i'm going to go back there and then Make sure you're selected on these two layers and then press V and let's put it there. All right. So let's just zoom this one out. I guess the, the image is so big. Okay. So press Control plus T. Let's decrease the size. And there you have it. So let me show you the before and after. So this one is the before and this one is the after. And that is how to remove transparent glass background in Photoshop.